the opportunity of a lifetime yeah, I think we can see that for to learn from some of the game's greats. In these conditions, you might need to put your hand under the ball a bit. Founded by former All Black Murray Mexted, the International Rugby Academy in Palmerston North is celebrating its eighth birthday. It's been long and hard, but it's been probably the most satisfying thing I, I think I've ever done. IRANS provides world-class rugby tuition for players and coaches from throughout the world. The driving factor was the fact that we were losing so much knowledge that wasn't being transferred back into the game. Coaches learning from fellow coaches. Which other country would embrace coaches from all over the world, players from all over the world, and, and yet not hold back and sort of share, share thoughts and philosophies on the game? Players from former greats. I imagine if I was working under a John Kirwan, you know, who's, who's been playing for the All Blacks for a long time, and, or a, a Craig Green, or guys that you, know, you look up to and say, I would love to have got an opportunity to talk to them. I've been playing, obviously, high school rugby, and then we have, like, McDonald's for your pre-match meal, and, and you come here and you're eating all this sort of healthy food and learning about all that sort of stuff, so it's definitely, definitely an eye-opener. The academy has an impressive strike rate. Last year, more than 30% of the players in the Air New Zealand Cup were IRAN's graduates. 21 played in the Super 14 and five went on to play for the All Blacks. But Mixstead has a bigger vision. I think it's inevitable, actually, that we will open up overseas. And, um, you know, we've had dozens and dozens of propositions. Going global, but still very much based in black. Julie Ash, One News. In these conditions, you might need to put your hand under the ball a bit. I think we can sit up for that. Excellent. So, Brian, you've been at IRANS a few days. What have your impressions been? I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, I think it's a very impressive uh, project. And uh, I'm delighted I've, at long last I was able to come here. So, what, what is your role here? A coaching facilitator? Yeah, I'm facilitating the coaches course. Uh, we've got coaches from New Zealand, obviously. Um, a small group from South Africa, the national coach of Chile, an American and one from Argentina. So it's a real sort of cross-cultural bunch of coaches. So what are the coaches taking out of it, do you think? I think they get a massive amount out of this, just by talking to one another. But I mean, they've got some, some great coaches looking after them as well. And today and tomorrow, they've got in some ex-All Blacks legends plus the national coach, Graham Henry. So put all that together in the mix and they can't fail to learn a hell of a lot. Are there many secrets sort of shared or how secretive is it? Do people sort of let loose with anything? Or? Well, yeah, more or less, yeah. It's, it's quite interesting because up to yesterday, Dick Muir, who's the um, Springboks assistant coach, was here. And, um, you know, they've been sharing secrets of how they do things. I've sort of spoken about how we do things in England, one or two of the All Blacks coaches, about how the All Blacks do things. So I think it's slightly different talking about things off the field. When you get on the field, it's a bit different dealing with it then. So you especially must find it interesting, given your sort of, the way you coach, your style is sort of more similar to ours than I guess of traditional English. Well, I, I like to think so, yeah. And, uh, you know, that's one of the reasons I was really keen to come down here, and I'd like to think that's one of the reasons that, uh, that Murray Mexted actually invited me down. I've been trying to get down here for two or three years, but my previous job wouldn't allow it. But now I'm not, uh, not working for England rugby anymore, then that's not a problem. Do you think, would you like to see more Northern Hemisphere coaches come down here? And it's yeah, I've, one or two have been down here already, but I think it's a fantastic opportunity, this. You know, I mean, New Zealand are the top side in the world, which might suggest that they've probably got the best coaches, and to come down here and share their culture, share their ideas and philosophies, etc., it's just an opportunity you can't miss. Do you think the concept could work anywhere else? Um, it would need someone with the sort of philosophic, philosophical thoughts behind how it starts in the first place and the real drive and ambition. To